One of these skincare products caused this reaction on my cheeks and if you want to know which product it is, then keep watching. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Rose Ink skincare products. And I have been using these products for about two weeks now. So I'm going to start with the cleanser. And this is the Skin Clarity Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. This cleanser contains pomegranate fruit enzyme, Jehovah beets, mushroom extract, and 12 amino acids. Together, all these ingredients will unplug pores and really cleanse and moisturize the skin at the same time. Although the beads in here are very, very fine, but there are a lot of them. And so I'm very skeptical of using any beads on my skin to kind of rub it against my skin because I'm afraid that these beads would create micro tears on my skin. So this is not my favorite cleanser. And also, it leaves my skin very cleansed but not moisturized as I would like it to be. My current favorite cleanser right now is from Tsuwasu. And this is the Tsuwasu Time Treasure Cleanser. And this cleanser cleans the face really, really well. And it leaves my face very super, super moisturized. I have never used a cleanser that will leave my face so moisturized. And a little bit of this goes a long way. So therefore, this cleanser does a good job if you don't mind the beads. Otherwise, it's not my favorite. So I'm going to move on to the next product. This is the Cooling Spheres Facial Massager Duo. These massagers support lymphatic drainage, visibly reduce puffiness, redness, and under eye circles. Before you use these, you leave them in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. These are made out of glass, so I leave them in the original box and then put the whole box in the refrigerator. Ah, oh, they feel so cooling on my inflammation right here. Now these are gigantic. When I bought it online, I did not imagine it to be this big. I do like this product a lot. I just wish that they are smaller so they can fit in my under eye areas here. And you can see that my skin in this area here, they were a lot more red earlier and inflamed. So these do really help to decrease that inflammation so therefore decreases that redness. Next is the Skin Resolution Clarifying Toner. This is an alcohol-free daily toner that purifies, exfoliates, and brightens and refreshes the skin complexion. And this toner has squalin, pink clay powder, and metallic lactic glycolic, tartaric, and pyruvic acids. So there are a lot of acids in here. Now this toner does leave my skin very smooth the next day. So I do like this product. I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead and my chin area here. So this product is one of my favorite products from this line. It won't leave the skin glowy immediately, but the next day the skin will feel very, very baby bottom, very, very soft. So next is the Hydration Replenish Micro Capsulated Moisturizer. Now the texture of this moisturizer is very interesting. It has beads in there and these beads you can pop them. And the ingredients in this moisturizer are squalene, niacinamide, and peptides. And squalene adds more hydration to the skin and niacinamide does a lot for your skin. It helps you really even out the skin tone. And peptides help to improve elasticity. This moisturizer has a bit of fragrance, so I'm going to kind of skip this area here of my cheeks. Just because I don't want the fragrance to kind of irritate or exacerbate the inflammation I have here. But overall, it's a good moisturizer. I just feel like it's not for me because I have so many moisturizers out there. I have no space in my skincare routine to screen this moisturizer in. It does leave the skin very smooth, very glowy because of that squalene. And I do like that it has niacinamide in here. So the last product I have here is the Radiant Review Brightening Serum. This is a powerful hydrating serum that instantly brightens the complexion with visible radiance. This product has squalene, C-phenol extract, and vitamin C. 
This product I received last in the mail, which is three days ago. And after I use it the next day, my skin, this area is here, are so, so irritated. Even though today is a day three, I still feel the irritation and I can't really use a lot of products on this area. And so this product is not for me. I'm not going to use it. So overall, these are my favorite two products in this line. And let me know if you have tried any of these products and if they cause any irritations. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And like always, I will see you next time. Bye.